All right, boys, welcome to a new glorious time of no Plague Hearts, at least for now. So we have a leader, and our next step is to begin progressing on the legacy. As you can see here, uh, we have to play as our leader. No more Plague Hearts, no more Blood Plague. What's next for this badass crew? Actually, I have some ideas about that. I think the real work is just beginning. Dear diary, today no, no. The real work together. is already done. Without a doubt, destroying the other play guard. The play guards, that was the real work. Anyways, let's see what our supposedly brilliant leader, who, who's pedantic and hates trespassers, let's see what his brilliant ideas as a leader is. If this was a job, they'd be giving us a raise right now. Okay, so step one is the victory celebration. My, my, a, a challenging objective indeed. So uh, in between the episodes, what I did was uh, level this guy up that. so that he could become the leader. That's basically his only purpose. He will serve no other purpose yeah. other than to complete the legacy, because I would never want smart. someone as grumpy as this. I think we can do this. Now, here's the thing. Mm -hmm. What's kind of annoying about the the legacies is that we can't really progress unless one of the legacy quests appear so like the objective currently is to achieve the goals that your leader sets out to complete your community story well we can't do that until the game is like okay your leader now has cooked up a new idea so um i'm just going to wait i guess until that thing happens. Yeah, I guess. Oh, I was just about to leave and our glorious leader appears to have come up with an idea. Um, apparently we need to search nearby. Really? If we're going to survive, I we just repaired the car. Here. It's time we built our home into a fortress. Do I actually need to play as him? I don't think so. I think I can actually play as this character. Okay, that's fine. Um, we need to search locations for materials. I hope you generate some materials for me. That would be nice. Ooh, let me burn. Um, the reason I want to burn these guys is to take them all out before they scream. There we go. And that's because uh, once you shoot the first one, the other ones will. Okay, of course. Zombies. Yeah, just what the doctor ordered, I guess. Here, yeah, bring them in. Bring the zombies in. I am going to need a repair kit, though. Fortunately, with the update, you are able to build repair kits without, uh, while another action is going on. We are running a little low on parts. Can, the, can these zombies seriously not figure out how to get in? Hey, come on, boys. Kill these zombies. I've got, like, kind of important work to do. You know, we're trying to, like, Beat the game or something? Could you got you know just shoot him, kill him? Please. There we go. Yeah, you got it. Yeah, let me get out of the way. Yep. Do all the work. For it. Okay, I'm gonna go out there and start. Oh my gosh. What is with all these zombies? Just go away. Oh, and then there's. Oh, did I? That was that. That was like that was just a shot of opportunity, and I actually got it there. Yeah, I'm distracting him. Could you please kill them? I'm distracting him for you. All you gotta do is shoot him. And of course, I get angry. shoot him, please. Shoot him, please. Oh my god. Okay, now can, can we stop wasting time? Please? I I got important things to do. I need to reattach the. I've got important things to do, as I was saying. So apparently we need to search for materials. Um, I mean our base is already maxed out, but sure, why not? I think I could even use, what do you call it? All right, last mag in. The uh, calling in a trade guy as well, but hopefully they generate some rucksacks for us. And we just wiped out a bunch of zombies in this area, so maybe it will be 
on the emptyish side, one could hope. Can we do this without every single what 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 is your other skill? Resourcefulness. Can we do this without every single zombie becoming aware of our presence? I think so. There it is. Okay, good. It is generating rucksacks for us. Okay, that's not bad then. That's going to be a, a basically uh, ten materials on the house. Very nice. Finally, we caught a break. Here's the first one. We have to build or convert a facility. Convert probably means upgrade. But what we're going to do is just probably tear down a facility and just rebuild it. I'll see, like, whatever the cheapest facility to tear down and rebuild is. I'm pretty sure this one's empty. Let's check the next one. Yeah. Very nice. This should definitely have the materials. It's a pretty profitable quest overall. Yeah, there we go. Um, whatever. We'll just use the we'll just use the wall on them. Oh no, they're smart. But are you smart enough to do it twice? I don't think so. Oh, he tricked me. No, they're walking around the wall. Well, you know what? You want to walk around the wall? I'll just go over here. How about that? I'll just drive away. What will you do then? He couldn't even jump on the vehicle properly. Man, someone needs to go like... Get good zombie and learn, like, the basics of being a zombie. Holy crap. Okay, now we can drop these off. Throw it in. Throw it in. And now we need to upgrade or build a facility. Uh, here we go, right here. Shazam! Sheltered beds. Goodbye. And now we will rebuild sheltered beds. Don't hold your breath. Construction's gonna take a while. Let's see how long a while is. It is four minutes. I think we'll be okay. In the meantime, I suppose what I'm going to do is try to... Before the quest popped out, I was going to knock out that infestation. And I think that's exactly what I'm going to do. Alright, let's see if we can actually destroy this infestation cleanly. I have not had the best of luck destroying infestations lately. They've gotten a little bit on the messy side. And this one looks like it might be a problem. The reason for that is because... Remember that the Screamers cannot open the doors themselves. And so there's a good chance the Screamer might get trapped inside. Unless he's on the second floor, then he could jump there. Actually, I don't know if a Screamer's willing to jump that far down. Oh good, they opened the door up. All right, so since they opened the door up, I'm just going to throw a second one in, and maybe that'll draw the Screamer out. I think they opened the door. Yeah, they opened the door. Come on, Screamer, come out. Make it easy on me. Or don't. Oh, one of them caught fire. There's the Screamer. Oh, he's catching the Screamer on fire. Oh! The infestations aren't a problem. For oh! Now. That, that... I wasn't sure how that would go. It, it went pretty well, actually. How long until this is done? Uh, 1 minute and 45 seconds. That will be the first stage of the legacy. And uh, we got more infestations over there. Uh, Grumpy, who are these guys? The Heartbreakers? They're not the Heartbreakers. I'm the Heartbreaker. I did all the work. These guys are trying to take my credit. I see how it is. Survivor, well, I guess he's really in trouble now that I abandoned him completely and didn't do it. But it's okay, because we're going to be done, and I don't I don't need to help anyone here, because we are going to be packing up and leaving. All right, so we are now in Prescott. Let's try to knock these infestations out, just to try to keep them from spreading. Just, I want to... 
they're just annoying because they chip away at our morale if too many of them appear. And if they chip away at the morale, I don't know. It's a, People here are like negative Nancy's or something. Nothing we can handle though. I want I don't these trees are really blocking my camera, so I wanna kinda get a little farther Nothing away from like them. Job, well there we go. We 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 did it, I guess, or something. Let's go ahead and upgrade this. Like so. Let me out, please. I just wanna get out. Yep, yep. I want out. There we go. Ew. And you, huh? Might as well loot this while I'm here. I do need parts, so I, it, not a bad idea to loot what we can. Uh, putting all our effort into destroying the plague hearts really beat up our supply of uh, just available parts. So any weapons I can get or anything, just even raw parts, anything will be good at this point. Not that I'm expecting to get a whole lot from these areas. So now we're back playing the waiting game because. He's got to come up with, like, a new hot idea or something like that. Anyways, la oh, I didn't realize the infestation was so far away. I thought, yeah, it makes sense, actually. I see that blood plague bloater over there. Don't think it'll be relevant to the mission, though. Forgot to stock up on ammo. Actually, more like I forgot to print more bullets or bolts or arrows or whatever you want to call them. Let's lure them out. Fire in the hole. And this house is so far out of the way. Holy crap. I'm hoping those zombies over there won't hear it. Keeping an eye on it. Okay, there's the... Okay, I thought I overthrew. Got the Screamer, the second one, before it had a chance to actually do anything. Very clean takedown. Love it. Love those clean infest... I, I gotta say, clean infestation takedowns are one of my favorite things in State of Decay. Even though, in general, I do find it annoying to have to keep up with the infestations. I wonder if... Okay, I, I don't trust my, my throwing aim. I should probably get a little bit closer. Sounds like a good idea. But this should also be a pretty clean takedown, and that the cleanliness of a takedown tends to rely on how accessible the outdoor is to the plague zombie. And that's because if the building, if, if the plague zombie has trouble getting out of the building. Wait a second. Uh oh. Maybe a left. Oh my god. I just want to get in my vehicle. There we go. This is sliding vehicle. What a weird, inconveniencing thing to have. Bunch of bloaters. Might be able to kill the feral on the way back. Yep. He derped out. Kind of a fairly common thing for the for the ferals on this vehicle for some reason. They seem to have a little bit of trouble dealing with it. So people ask, how is Fox going to deal with triple barrels? Oh, well, I'm just going to kind of drive back and forth in this car and wait for them to kind of wig out. Which actually happens pretty frequently. Like that. And there are our two screamers. Let's go ahead and... Uh, there we go. Not the way I intended to destroy this, but it's going to do the job. There we go. Unfortunately, this is also a really noisy way of doing it. And because it's a noisy way, it's just going to attract... Oh, got to make sure I don't... I, I got to keep an eye on those bloaters up there. Oh, that counted. Never mind. I wasn't sure if that would count for just taking out the infestation. But there we go. We should be infestation free. Ugh. This ran out. Anyways, I'll see you back at the base when the next quest pops. Progress, but scavenging alone won't cut it. We need to get some basic services up and running here at home. Do we? Okay, um, here's our glorious leader having a glorious nap on a bench, even though we have beds. Sure, why not? Let's see what the objective is. Take control of Thomas to take 
the viability of a water outpost. Okay, yeah, we're so not claiming a water outpost. We already have water. Hopefully the game recognizes that we already have water. I mean, we could claim one. We have the influence for it, but I'm just saying that, like, I would really hate to get water when we already have water. But if I gotta do it, we'll do it. Okay, let's see. Where is the objective? Really? You want to get water here? You don't want to get water anywhere closer than that? Like, you don't, you know, there's, are you telling me there's no water areas? That's the closest one. You, you just want me to, like, this one here. This pump station right here, you're telling me, is it's, it's just not good. It's just not Thomas material. It's the specifically the pump station on the opposite side of the map. Of course. I mean, why wouldn't it be? I mean, it w you wouldn't want to make this as challenging as possible, despite... I'll see you there, boys. Later. All right, we're almost in town, boys. It is, um... I don't know. It's going to be a real kick in the butt if I have to buy this and I had to drive, you know, to the other side of the opposite corner of the map just for this. But, you know, we'll see. We'll see. Maybe he'll be like, hey, we already have water. You yeah, know, there's no need to. Place for another outpost. Can I do it quietly? Is anyone going to notice? Is it is it good? Okay. First off, let me make sure our water is active. Just to make sure, like, they don't think that, oh, God, you don't have water. Ergo, you, you need to claim this outpost. Oh my god, we do have to make an outpost here. I don't want this. Okay. This leader is so bad. I mean, he's like, oh, I'm making such good decisions. We're going to have water because of me. Oh, I don't know. Let's drop one of our food outposts, I guess, because we're currently overdoing it on food anyways. Done? There we go. A thousand influence down right. the drain because of this genius's idea. Now let's make them work for us. Not bad. Activate your utility. Using your improved utilities, craft an item that requires water or power. Um, okay. Let's make something that requires power. Uh, pipe bombs. We have plenty of ammo. This place better. Ooh, what an improvement! S such big brain ideas. Oh my, like, what would we do without you, Thomas? You're just so smart. So you're like uh, the wrinkly, the most wrinkly of all brains. Is what would we do without you? Please be like something good. Oh, oh my god, I can't believe this. We just wasted like a thousand points for like nothing. I mean, I guess. What am I going to do with the influence anyways? I It's just the principle of it, to be honest. Oh, God, it's like, it's causing pain to me to, like, do that. Um, I guess we might as well loot while we're here and waiting for the next quest. Um, I don't know. This place looks like as good as any. It's also kind of quiet here. I, I get a lot of comment, not a lot, but I'll get the periodic comment that there's not enough zombies in my area, and that's just because I travel a lot. Traveling around just means that you won't have to fight nearly as many zombies. And speak of the devil, zombies. Good, none of them screamed. That means... But yeah, that, that's been a strategy I've employed since the Nightmare Zone. And it's not that, like, oh, you know, like, I can't remember the name of the episode, but it's in, I think, the Juggernaut Edition series season, which I think is, I think it's season eight. I want to say it's season eight. Uh, look for the, look for the thumbnail with the crying cat meme. And there, you'll, you'll see there's plenty of zombies in that video. It just depends on how much you travel around. Because if you don't travel much, then the game kind of like nails down your position for spawning. But if you, tr basically the way it works is like, this way, I, I, I'm not a developer. So I don't know how their coding works. But from testing the game for its weak points, I've noticed that the game, since the game can't, where you're gonna go. The game can't be sure 
where you're going to spend time and where you're just passing through. It just kind of like spawns things around you. But there, there appears to be a population limit for zombies, which makes that. sense. The game would just like explode if like if you just infinitely created zombies, it just the game wouldn't be able to handle it. So eventually you'll get to the point where the game spawns a bunch of zombies in unimportant locations that it, I don't know, it seems to just hit its population cap. And you'll just find these areas where there's just not a whole lot of zombies. And it's not an Xbox thing. It happens just as good on PC as well. And that's just a strategy that I employ. Just moving around until I find... I mean, it just in general, just move around until you find a good place to loot. Like, I assure you, the zombies are not everywhere. You will find a place that is free of zombies, if you look. And that's why, in the beginning of the series, I'm pretty sure, like, if I didn't emphasize it, then bad on me. I should have emphasized that. Depends on there we go. We need more of us, which means we have to make this a place worth living in. Okay, so we need to build a sniper tower. And I am going to take this down. And build our sniper tower right here. I mean, why not? There we go. Oh, yes. That's going to take a hot minute. Unfortunately, um, thank you, Undead Labs, for not, you know, balancing the text pops. But I'm going to guess that this is going to take about 25 minutes to build. So, um... Yeah, um, that might take a moment. One hour later. Well, here we are waiting for the sniper tower to finish. As you can see, the bar on it has nearly filled it up. Must be at like 90, like 8, 98-ish percent. And um, basically, we are, we, this should be very close to the end of the game. Once the sniper tower is done, I believe the very final quests are going to appear, which is... When additional people arrive in order to, they want to join your community because, you know, you're so good at being the builder that everyone wants to live in your super zombie outpost of majiggy thing. And uh, that's it. Uh, I, I, there's a siege and then there's some grumpy butts. But I have... A horde that isn't dealt with soon becomes an infestation. If you see a horde, you got two choices. Pay now or pay later. I don't know if that's really true. I ignore hordes all the time. Oh, there we go. Oh, yes. A place to be proud to call home. Okay. So now we just have to wait for the next one. Uh, since we don't have the bloater grenades, and I wouldn't use them anyways, because this is supposed to be like not using all the OP DLCs playthrough. Uh, we have the Willy Pete grenades. Uh, we have, I'm, I'm gonna make, let me make some fuel bombs. Um, oh, we don't have power. Let me fix that real quick. Let's add some seeds. We're also gonna have to pick what characters we want to bring with us into the next playthrough. And an uncharacteristic decision I'm gonna make is, or I don't know about going to, but I'm leaning very hard into it, is to... Not take all of my original characters, actually. Uh, so the people I'm considering taking with me are Jimena, our agriculture girl, because food. Uh, Marin. Wait. What's happening over here? And just stay outside of the base instead of inside of the base. Brilliant plan, buddy. Brilliant plan. Anyways, so I'm thinking about taking Jimena because that's our um, agriculture girl. Pretty good skills and, you know, two beds. That's not bad. And no negative traits. I think good. we're going to take Marin because that's our mechanic. Got to be able to build. I mean, we're building a ton of these crazy, like, uh, things. And then on top of that, no negative skills. And her, her hero bonus is decent. And our original character was big sick and there's nothing wrong with her necessarily but i i don't know if i and you know, i really i do like you know um big sick pathology is pretty good but i'm actually thinking about going with J jay's we're gonna call her hand because that's her last name uh because munitions we, we still don't have the bloater grenades which would be my next way to destroy them so c4 could still be useful 
And then on top of that, no negative traits, great skills, gunslinging. And then she's got a really awesome hero bonus, the meal plan, which causes us to eat 25% less food. So I'm really thinking about going with her on that one. Not sure, though. I still have time to think about it because who knows when the next quest is going to appear. And then we're also going to have to start packing up our stuff to see what are we going to take with us into the next playthrough. Anyways, I'll let you know when the quests start showing up again. All right, so it looks like it's you quest time. And uh, fortunately, it lo looks like one of our M99 characters is actually all the way up here assisting the fuel trader that I called in. And on top of that, our quests are available, so I'm pretty sure I got to play as Thomas. Okay, that's fine. Oh, that's me up here. Interesting. Okay, let's... What weapon am I using? This is the end of the game, so I think I want to use something a little more appropriate. Not that this weapon is bad, but I don't think we have the ammo for it. Um, let's just go with this one. There. Carry this. And um, let's go see what our visitors want. Hey, I'm going to go out for a bit. It's really an honor to meet you. Is it now? You Trying to butter me up? Folks. Just like us. Um, you need a new place to stay. Ah, uh, why not? Y'all can come in. Sure. You won't regret taking us in. Why are we taking all these people in? They're just gonna help us on the, the final nice siege. A plague -free town. I have a feeling this is just gonna keep on happening. Yeah, it's not that's funny. That that's something that it's up. Oh, we'll some rowdy some outsiders have shown up. Hey, that kind of shit doesn't fly with me. Leave. Okay. Before I change my mind. Um, your base looks like a nice place to say, but I'm not going to take either of them. Me? I'm not you taking either of you guys. Up your ass. There. So, yeah, they're just going to help us defend the base. More bodies, you know, in the final attack. It's not, you know, like those other guys. But these guys were going to say no just because, I don't know, I'm a jerk butt. It, it, even though it really doesn't matter. Be careful out there. Somebody wants to talk to you. They're waiting back at the base. Okay, so I think this no, is the final quest, kind of actually. Time. So what I might do is... Let me, let me see. It'll tell me if this is the final step. I'm pretty sure this is the final step. I need help! Anybody? No, you can't I come can't in. Say I'm happy about that. Okay, good. Okay, I was really... Okay, the you next one must be... The, the, it's, it's probably going to be the final quest. So, I hope we made the in right between path. that, what I'm going to do is begin packing the stuff up because it's going to be time to wrap things up. All right. We are ready. They are here, and I just packed up all my characters with a whole ton of stuff, including some of my favorite weapons, but we are ready to do this. So I'm going to bring out all of our special weapons and stuff like that, just because, you know, they're still hostile communities, even though, you know, even though, you know, we're ready to deal with them and whatnot. Let's go ahead and just activate all these crazy abilities. And... The job. Okay, so legacy completion is com is permanent. Once you complete this mission, you can never access this community again. However, completing the legacy gives you a permanent boon that can apply a huge benefit to your future communities. The survivors from this community will also be viable, available. However, whenever you start a new community, would you like to do it? Yes, I do. Okay, so we're gonna use the Willy Peep grenades basically to stun these guys because like. They're going to shoot at us, and I don't want them to do that. Okay, so there's no choice. They're like, you have to let us in. Now you've got to go. You should have let us in. Now you've got to go. So, like, I don't know. These guys are crazy. They think that the three of them are going to storm the base. I think it's a really stupid idea, but what can you do? Uh, also, let me make sure this is active. Okay, good. It is. That means if I do get shot, I have a very good chance of resisting a lot of the damage, because this character also has endurance. So it has injury severity reduction. All right, let's do it. 
I'm gonna love trashing this place when we're done. We're under attack. There we go. Have some fire. Fire's nice, isn't it? You'll love fire. Just remember, everyone fights. No one quits. Gonna throw another one in there. You know, it doesn't matter. It's not a waste or anything. I don't think they like the fight. Fire in the hole. Keep it up. Let's win this one. Oh yeah, and so the if you haven't seen the Builder Legacy completed, what's happening right now is the battle with the humans is like, oh no, you caused the whole ton of noise and now this big old zombie siege is gonna happen. Oh, he's still alive. I assumed they weren't alive, and then the game's geometry got a little freaky on me, that's fine. Not sure who I'm burning. I'm gonna assume I'm burning someone I should be burning. Yeah, yeah, I think we're burning the right people. Now we also have our thermite grenades. Oh, there's someone over there. Let me bounce the thermite grenade around the wall. Okay. Thermite grenades, they mainly last a long time. I guess they would be pretty good for area denial, I suppose. Oh, wow, they can fit up. I mean, I guess we could loot what they have. I, I doubt they're gonna... What? A BML-40? That's why they thought they could beat us. I see. Okay, hold on a second. I need to get one of my characters to pick this BML up. Step one is to grab the BML. Take it easy. And now I gotta trade it to one of my characters. Access. Oh no! Who is gonna. I need to find, um. You. Oh my god, let me access your inventory, please. And list. Oh my god, I think the game is just gonna be all screwy on me and I'm not gonna be able to keep that BML. Because I'm not gonna take this particular character with me. Alright, here we go again! Where where is I can't even keep track of her. As you can see, I'm not even worried about it. Like, the, the, this, this is the easiest legacy of them all to do. Oh. Here, I'll just activate our sniper support to make this a little easier. Like, the problem like, the zombies are having is there's just so many of us. And I'm not even like, you know, I can even like burn them as well. There's a lot of things we can do. Burn my own allies, just burn things. It's a juggernaut. Yeah, he's right there. Just kill him. Shoot him with your big old gun. We got big guns. All my guys are just partying outside, even though there's a juggernaut here. How about that? Come on, shoot him with the big gun. Come on, you can do it. There we go, now we're blasting him. Can I, I really want to trade this BML off. You, can I do it? Why, why is it like glitching out like that? It's so dumb. Like, we had that same problem in one of the earlier stages of the game. The problem is once we clear out the enemies, it's gonna be like, Oh, you did it. Yay. And I, this is my last chance. Give me that. And take that. No, room. No, drop, drop this. No! No room for that. No! We... What? What? No! Stop! Stop what? fighting you! What? 
want. One of our survivors has blood plague. I'm proud of the hard work we put into this home of ours. Damn. Who has blood plague? If we can build something this strong, we may just have a chance of outlasting. I need to put him in the. Oh god, I have blood plague. Who has blood blood? If we can build Okay, we we got him. We put him away. We may just have a chance of outlasting the Zeds. Ah. Oh well. I mean, we don't really need the BML40. But it just would have been a nice thing to have. Ah. Uh, I wish characters would obey you. Like I wish Attempting to trade with a character would override their programming and like just let you do the thing. But it's like we had our one opportunity, but I, I chose the wrong weapon the item to drop, which was the C4. They tried to sneak a death in at the very end, but I, I wasn't going to let them do it. And then this guy, he's gonna act like, oh god, I, I did like I didn't I do so good? I did I did so well. Like I was just the I was the leader of I this know community. This road hasn't been easy. We've lost too many friends. No, I lost a few hundred influence. We turned this town into something that can really last. And that means we can do it again in the next town. And the next. It won't ever be easy, but I promise you, we will rebuild this world. You know what I don't get is, so you build the base, why do you leave? What, what is their motivation to leave? Because like, okay, the dialogue implies that they're going to move from town to town to town, and also your community shuts down. So it's like, why, why do you leave? You just built this like insane fortress. Why would you leave? So here is our group of people. So let's see. Who who are who is it? So we had here's our here's our MVPs. We got Jimena. Definitely gonna stay. Marin, definitely gonna stay. Big sick, not sure. You, despite being the leader, you're you're not gonna make it, I'm afraid. You're not going. You're gonna stay. Logan, no, I'm afraid you're not going to go over. And then you are the three new characters that we added at the end. That's how I'm 100% certain nobody died, not even at the end, because we had six characters plus an extra three. None of them are going to make it. And let's see. Is the big sick... Of no, I've decided against it. These are going to be the three people who make it. You know, Fox is an uncaring lord. He doesn't care how much effort you put in if you don't have the right stats. You don't get to make it. And if you're wondering who's here, we have Letitia. She's here because she has the unusual bartending skill. And sometimes I need that, so that's her. And then, of course, Kilgore, one of the uh, reoccurring characters in our series. Yes, good old Nicholas Kilgore. Anyways... There you go. So we did it. We beat Lethal Zone, and we didn't use any, no pre-order, no DLC, no pre-order bonuses. We didn't, I, so I didn't use my Preppers Pack pre-order bonus. I didn't use my Ultimate Edition pre-order bonus. Uh, we didn't use the Independence Day gear, so no Pyro Launcher. We didn't use the Daybreak expansion stuff, so no Red Talon agents, no Clio equipment. We didn't use the Heartland stuff, which not a whole lot of stuff there, but um, they didn't have the, the very high quality Echo series weapons. Some of them are just insanely good. Didn't use any of those. We didn't even use like the, um, the, the like the biochem from the free Zed Hunter update. I did use the crossbows. I don't think people will be opposed to that. You know, crossbows, I think, are a, a perfectly fair weapon to use where they're not like some OP thing. They've got their drawbacks to it. But we didn't use the biochems. You know, we didn't use the scent block. We didn't use the zombie. We didn't use the bloater gas grenades. And yeah, we didn't use any of that. 
So there you go. People have, you know, from time to time said that, hey, Fox could only win because he uses DLC as a crutch. Well, this was the opportunity to show, no, I use DLC for convenience, not as a crutch. And it could not be any more clear than this. First time playing Lethal Zone, no other prior experience to the Lethal Zone. I didn't play, I played off screen, obviously, but I, this is the only Lethal Zone community we have. So you got to see it all the way through, especially in the beginning where the, the zombies had their best chance of taking me out. But there you go. So anytime someone says, oh, Fox can't do it because the, the uses the DLC, can't win without DLC, just show them the Lethal Zone series. Anyways, it was pretty fun. I enjoyed it. I think the only part I didn't like was, you know, I thought 33 Playguards was a little bit boring. Uh, even though, yeah, sure, it's a lot of combat. It's just really tedious having to construct all those weapons to destroy the Playguards. But on the other hand... It is supposed to be kind of like this ultimate challenge thing. It's kind of like, this is it. You know, it's you versus the end of the game. It's like the hardest difficulty. So I get it that it's supposed to be like this one final, like, yes, this is it right here. The biggest Wushable Google ever. But I don't know. There you go. Let me know what you think down in the comment section. I'm very honored that many of you have found great effect with my strategies. I don't watch other State of Decay players for the most part. Like, uh, you know, I. so what that means is that my ideas are mostly my own, and some of them do come from suggestions that I get from the community. So I'm not ripping off other people's strategies. This is just me experiencing it, drawing into my knowledge, and creating my own tactics, my own adaptations. And I'm very happy to see that other people are getting great effect out of the Plague Heart Blitz with the C4. But hey, we'll continue on from there. I finally get to use DLC again. I finally get to activate my boons again. Might take a few days off in order to build up some of our DLC so that we can actually use it. But don't worry, I'll be back with more State of Decay 2 Lethal Zone content, as well as a full video on what I think about Lethal Zone now that I have taken the first legacy. But you were there to see it. You were there. Let me know what you think down in the comment section. Thank you for watching. I'm honored to perform for such a wonderful audience. So like the video. If you were satisfied with the first Get Good Fox Lethal Zone playthrough, let me know how you, if these helped you, let me know if this improved your gameplay. Subscribe for future Lethal Zone content. And of course, remember that you don't have to be good to get good.